So um, Eastern Province is uh, largely covered by the valley, uh, which is uh, the valley which is found in the Wangwa River, and it's, it acts. The Wangwa River acts like a boundary, actually, you know, a geographical boundary, uh, cutting Eastern Province from the rest of the country. And this valley uh, is a predominantly hot, dry, and um, uh, most of the time, uh, you know, water is a problem, and so women have to walk, you know. Uh, in a long distances to fetch water, um, and it's, it's actually difficult because of also of the rain pattern of Zambia, which comes only once per year from the month of uh, November to uh, the month of March the following year. So it means uh, basically that for the rest of the months uh, of a particular year, it would be dry. So by the time we reach October, would have no water in most parts of the of the of the province. So um, what it means, therefore, is that the women have a greater task because culturally women have to go and fetch water for the home. So they have uh, 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 a great task of going to look for water. And uh, in most cases, uh, they have to walk long distances of sometimes three miles, you know, to fetch water on their heads and they would bring the water you know, to their homes for cooking, for, for bathing and for many other things. But most of this water, because it's drawn from the streams and some of the streams are closer to the villages and some other streams are quite far from the, from the villages. Like I explained already, they have to walk long distances. But most of this water is contaminated in most cases because it's uh, you know water that is just you know flowing in the in the river, in the streams. So um, when they bring it to the home, um, you'd have problems like you know the children would be suffering from diseases like dysentery and typhoid and many other you know diseases, and also uh, the because of the, the villages that have you know large families. The streams would dry, you know, at certain times of the year. So the villagers are forced to dig, you know, like narrow wells where the women would be going to draw water. But even in those narrow wells, because the demand is overwhelming, sometimes the well would dry, you know, during the day. So they will have to wait maybe to go back in the evening to draw water when, you know, some water has come up, you know, in the well or the following day. So the demand is really overwhelming uh, to the extent that um, uh, uh, the women have uh, are not, uh, a lot of difficulty in fetching you know, water. And uh, also, like I explained, uh, when they draw this water, it's not purified and you know, it's dirty and you know, it's not healthy at all. So um, coming here, uh, Water with Blessings, the project that I was initiated by Sister Lorraine, I, I find it as a, you know, a solution to so many problems you know, as regards the clean water all over the world. We know that women are in most you know, poor countries are the ones that suffer you know, when going to fetch for water for, for, for the home. So it's, it's a solution that answers a lot of you know, those problems. First of all, you know, when water is drawn, it's not purified. So the project that has been put in place helps, you know, to, to, to purify the water and to make sure that, you know, children and the women and the families have access to clean water and uh, reduces on the number of, you know, diseases that can be avoided because the water is purified. And so uh, in my case, like from where I come from, my diocese and the uh, the, the, the valley that I've talked about, this would be a very ideal project that is going to help the women and most of the villages and the settlements there, and it will really you know, help them to have access to clean water, but also you know, to shorten the distances because the water can be stored in the house, in the filters, so it would mean basically that you know, uh, they would have uh, you know, water readily available in the, in the house, which they can use at any time of the day or, or, or you know, in two days or three days. So it, it can really answer most of those you know, questions and problems that the women are going through uh, in my diocese. Thank you.